Okay, a couple of options for working with legacy Office files when you're um, working in Google Drive, particularly if you're on Chrome OS. So, the first and simplest option is just opening up one of these files. So this is a Word file here. If you're on a Chromebook or a Chromebox or a Chrome base, you can just double click on these and it'll open. You can do this on a PC as well. Um, as long as you're working in the new version of Google Drive. So this Word document here, for example, will open with the Chrome uh, Office Editor. So I can edit this document. Remember, you have to save it. It doesn't save open automatically. You can do this in Excel and PowerPoint as well. Things like Visual Basic Scripts, so if you've got any macros in Excel, um, a file won't work in this view, and you'll find that some complicated documents, especially with images in, might not render entirely correctly. But for the most part, it works really quite well. So that's your first option, just open them up. You can also open them up from the file um, manager. So you can do exactly the same thing um, there's a downloaded Office file there. I could just double click on that and open it up and edit it in just the same way. That one does have some images in. So that's option one. And that's the simplest thing and anybody can do that as long as they're on the new drive. Click on settings like that. Then go to manage apps and then connect more apps. There are other apps you can use that are a little bit more sophisticated than that. You just type in Office there. And if you add this one here, only Office, click on Connect. Um, this make only Office personal the default app for files that can open will make it default app for opening office files I'm not going to have that this time just in case I don't like it okay so now we've attached that app if I right click on this office document open with you'll see that only office personal is now an option for opening this document and then we've got the only option. Then it'll ask you for some permissions to connect this to your drive. Click on accept. You only have to do this once. First time you use it. And then you'll have a rather more sophisticated editor pop up. There you go. Now, there's a couple of caveats associated with using this. It does render Office documents pretty much perfectly. However, at the moment, it doesn't have a UK spell checker. It's got an, um, it's got a uh, US. And I've found that if you open existing documents, it tends to think everything's a spelling mistake. Um, if you create new documents in it, it's uh, fine. But if you just want to edit some documents that already exist and use them and do things with them, then it actually works really well. And you can see there's a lot more editing options if you uh, need to change things. So um, only Office is uh, quite a good option if you do need to uh, work with those uh, Office files.